All right, let's head back to the boat to cook up some more delicious recipes with my good friend, Chef John Fulce. So we caught the mangrove snapper, and now we're gonna fillet it. Right, right. And we're gonna ceviche it, because look at what you did. Uh, everything right out of the grocery store except the main star of the event, right here, the, the mangrove Man snapper. Our captain's gonna fillet it. Tell me what he's doing, John. This is about as fresh as you can get. Yeah. When you're making ceviche, or you're making one of these raw fish dishes that's gonna be cooked in citrus, the main thing you want is the freshest fish possible. <laughs> well, hey, hey this, 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 so this is the one you just caught about five minutes ago. Yes. This, it's a mild fish. It's a great fish for grilling, for sautéing, for baking. But when it comes to ceviche, it's uh, one. Uh, absolutely it's one of the top fish. So if you can go ahead and uh, take it off the skin right there and then uh, slice it for us, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to make up our, our juice. The Sicilian fishermen, uh, all of the Italians. You're talking uh, about my family now. Uh, that's your family, yeah. absolutely. They would cook on the boat, they'd bring the raw ingredients out. How clean is it? Here's the captain of a charter boat who has no trouble cleaning his board and the fillets of fish right down in the right. Gulf water. Right. Smell that. You're not supposed to smell I fresh. Don't smell, I don't smell, I don't smell fresh. I mean, it's, it's in fact, in, in fact, it's so fresh. Right. I don't, oh wow, the salt, <laughs> the salt of that is fish. Is that great? I want you to taste that little piece of fish before we even season it. Oh, I. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's incredible, it's just incredible. like that. It really is delicious. Now you're ready to put a little flavor on it? Now, of course, being uh, from an Italian family and having a little Italian in my veins as well, <laughs> uh, we need a little garlic, so we have two choices here. We always use the nice, fresh, finely chopped garlic, but then, look at this, nice, thin, lish yes. rice. Isn't this garlic? Yes. Isn't this great? And a lot of it, right? They say if you eat a lot of that garlic, you won't get bit by mosquitoes. That's right. Look, this well, will get the floral that's, that's a Sicilian for you. Well, it, well, and we know there's a lot of mosquitoes in Louisiana, right? We're using a little white onion, okay. and then a little red onion or shallots, either one. A little jalapeno. Oh, very, a little oh, back heat. Oh, yeah. I like by, that. Back heat front and a little center, too. <laughs> uh, now, you know what this is? This is cilantro. Red chili peppers. Oh, you're going to make a little spicy. This is Louisiana. Okay, gotta do this it, gotta this do it. This is my country. Gotta right? do it. Laura, you go ahead and squeeze a bunch of lime okay. in there. I'm gonna put the lemon. This is the fire that's gonna cook the fish. Is there a reason why you're doing both lemon and lime? Well, they have two different flavors, and if you remember the, the Italians as well as the Spanish fishermen of Louisiana, were very, very healthy when a lot of other people weren't because they ate so much citrus fruit. Now we're gonna put the sweetener in it, so we have to have orange in our ceviche. And notice he didn't mean sugar. <laughs> of course, he's got a lot of sugar he's putting in there, a lot of love. I've just washed my hands in the salt water, you mind? Oh, well, yeah, you, you just wash yours with lemon juice. Go ahead That's and toss, right. go ahead toss, toss that fish, huh? Okay, now let me ask you a quick question for the folks at home. What do they wanna look for in their fish once you put the citrus on it. The texture of the fish, you want it to be nice and firm, you don't want it to be mushy. I think we should taste it now before it goes under. Well, why not? Mmm. And you know what the Italians would do right after they uh, taste it? Lick their it, fingers. Right? Yeah. And Absolutely. it'd make the sign across the St. Peter. I right? wasn't kidding about my finger. Are we just gonna put a lid on it and it's gonna go into the ice bin with the other fish and in an hour or so we'll be eating. Ready to go. This is the best I've ever had, really.